The iPad Air has seen its position in the overall Apple iPad lineup change over time. The first two models arrived as the only regular-sized Apple tablet on the market when Apple, temporarily, it turned out retired the singular iPad name after four generations. Meanwhile, Apple placed the third iPad Air version, launched five years after its predecessor, between a revived singular iPad and iPad Pro, where it continued to sit in the lineup when both the iPad Air 4 2020 and iPad Air 5 2022 were released. When it comes to an iPad Air 5, yes, iPad 2021 comparison, you can quickly see the difference between the former is superior with better specs and a higher price. Replace the iPad 2021 with the new iPad 2022 and things get the new budget iPad is vastly different than its predecessor as it offers better specs and a fresh design. For this, you're expected to pay much more than the earlier version. Surprisingly, the iPad 2022 is nearly identical to the iPad Air 5 2020. And although the iPad 2022 is much more expensive than the iPad 2021, it's much cheaper than the iPad Air 5. As you watched before, the iPad Air 5 2022 and iPad 2022 are nearly the same. They both, for example, have a USB-C port and smart connector, and each offers Touch ID through a fingerprint identity sensor built into a top button. Both devices offer similar battery life, storage options, and rear camera system. The most crucial difference between the two iPads is that the iPad Air 5 2022 contains an Apple Moan chip while the iPad 2022 and the Moan offers an 8-core CPU with 2 performance and 2 efficiency cores, an 8-core GPU, 16-core neural engine, and 8GB RAM. The F14 Bionic chip, also available in the iPhone 12 series, comes with a 6-core CPU with 2 performance cores and 4 efficiency cores, a 4-core GPU, and 16-core neural engine. These differences mean the iPad Air 5 handles things like performance, multitasking, and graphics better than the iPad. Does this mean the iPad 2022 is somehow bad at handling all those things? Absolutely not, and for the average iPad user, it will probably mean very little. Other differences between the two tablets are more nuanced. For example, both tablets feature a 10.9-inch liquid retina display. And yet, the iPad Air 5 is the only one between the two with a fully laminated display with an anti-reflective coating. This means the tablet screen is better protected from the elements and will look better in bright conditions. The iPad Air 5 also offers a wide color display, P3, which provides more vibrant greens and reds than the traditional sRGB color gamut that's found on the newer iPad. Perhaps the most confusing difference between these tablets is that the iPad 2022 only supports the Apple Pencil, first generation, while the iPad Air 5 is compatible with the Apple Pencil, second generation. Apple's decision to only allow the iPad 2022 to support the first Apple Pencil is goofy and annoying at the same time. On the one hand, the compatibility difference means anyone upgrading to the iPad 2022 can keep their existing Apple Pencil. And yet, those same folks won't be able to charge the Apple Pencil with the tablet since it comes with a USB-C, not a lightning connector that the first Apple Pencil supports. And this says nothing about the technical advances the Apple Pencil second generation has over the older model that iPad 2022 users won't be able to appreciate. There are two other perks iPad Air 5 buyers will get to experience. Of the two tablets, this is the only one that supports Stage Manager, which offers a new way to multitask. The more expensive tablet also includes a media engine, a fancy name for specialized cores with an Apple Silicon, in this case, the Moan. This engine is dedicated to processing digital media codecs, including hardware accelerated H264 heft and video encoding or decoding. The only other difference between the iPad Air 5 and the iPad 2022 are the color choices. The former comes in space gray, starlight, pink, purple, and blue. The latter also comes in a pink and blue option, but the hues here are darker. The iPad 2022 is also available in silver and yellow. iPad 2022 vs iPad Air 5 2022 vs. You'll need to decide whether it's worth paying $150 extra for the extras the iPad Air 5 provides. If you're okay with paying more just because you want a better iPad, the iPad Air 5 is your choice. However, 
of money is a significant concern. Understand that the new iPad for 2022 is a terrific device and not that much different than the iPad Air 5. The choice really comes down to whether you want better performance, multitasking, and graphics, which may or may not mean so much during everyday use. You will also need to decide whether an ever so slightly better display is high on your list of priorities and whether you're okay with the first generation Apple Pencil. We are going to end this video right away. If you have any query or information to share, please leave a comment. Thanks for watching.